Hello and welcome to Mr. Barton's Web Wiz video number 24, where once again I take a very quick look through some of my favourite mathematical websites. Now I'm always on the lookout for something a bit different in a maths website and this week certainly provides that. If we just google number file, p-h-i-l-e, number file, and there number one is numberfile.com. Now this website is related to a couple of previous WebWiz videos. Last week we looked at Matt Parker's excellent uh, maths, mathematical magic, sorry. And a few weeks ago we looked at iTunes U and one of the stars on that in terms of maths is certainly James Grime. And those two mathematicians are heavily involved with this website as well. So if I just click on the team just to show you that, uh, there's James there and down there is Matt and a whole host of other mathematical experts who all share a passion for this subject. And what number file does is it records videos at a pretty regular rate. They tend to pop up about once a week. And what I, I just love the way it's laid out. It just hooks you in and makes you want to kind of click on find out what they're about. So what I thought we'd do, we'll have a look at a couple of the videos and then we'll discuss, as we always try and do on these WebWiz videos, some lesson applications. So a couple of my favourites are, I love this one, uh, 1729. I'm a big fan of the 23 one as well and Googleplex. So let's just have a quick look at this. So I'll just click play and I'll shut up for a few seconds. Hopefully it'll kick in. And that video goes on to chat a little bit more about the wonders and the history of uh, 1729. Uh, we've got the classic 23 here linked into the birthday paradox. So will I give this a quick click? Okay, so today we've got exclusive access to uh, Nottingham Forest football ground here. Uh, Two-time European uh, Cup winners who have given us the access so that we can talk about a very important number uh, in football and a very important number in probability, which is the number 23. And that goes on uh, to discuss that in much more detail. And finally, one of my favorites is all about Google and Googleplex. So we'll give this a very quick click. Imagine you had a universe which was a Googleplex meters across. Okay, big universe. Then that's very big. And if you actually travel far enough in that universe, you would start to see Now that certainly hooks the students in. So, loads of exciting videos here, but how would you use them in a classroom? Well, the most obvious way, and the way that uh, goes down very well with the students, is just the last five, 10 minutes of the lesson, just to show them one of these videos, get them to take it in turns to, to pick a video. And even if it's something that they've never studied before, like if it goes into complex numbers or factorials or square roots or something, that doesn't matter because it hooks them in into the excitement of maths and gets them keen to find out what's coming next. So that's absolutely fine. But one thing I've done, uh, with a year nine group that work quite well is in the summer when it's we tend to do kind of mathematical projects is I've uh, got them into groups of two and three and allocated them one video each to go away have a look at and investigate a bit further and come back and do a presentation for the class on it and the video kind of gives them the impetus and gives them a foundation of where to start and then they can search on Google and Wikipedia for a bit more information choose a certain aspect of the video that kind of interests them and then come back and do little five minute presentations for the rest of the class and I'm all in favor of anything that gets students interested in talking about mathematics a bit more and goes beyond what will be covered in the normal textbook or, or mathematics curriculum so I'm a massive 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 fan of number file I would strongly advise you as well to uh, to follow them on Twitter because they give you regular updates of when each of the videos released and, and any other interesting math things that come their way so that's at number file and yeah if you haven't seen this this website it's certainly worth a look and I'll be back with a fresh web video next week bye for now